Hey tribe, what is the vibe? Welcome back to Born with the Veil Tarot. I'm Kay and I'm here to do another reading for the collective. Holy Spirit, make me a clear channel. Please give me clear, concise, accurate messages for the collective. Archangel Michael, I ask that you protect me from anything that is not of the holiest white light. Anything that is not of the holiest white light, please do not allow it to come in. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. I'd like to thank my new subscribers. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. For those of you who've been rocking with me since the low 50 subs, I love and appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for the overall support to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. And thank you for hitting that subscribe if you resonate or enjoy the message. Remember, these are general messages, so take what fits, leave what doesn't. Also, a he, maybe a she, and vice versa. It's not about the gender. Um, and if I say something out of left field, it's just because I'm picking it up. So I'm going to drop it because it may resonate with somebody, okay? Um. Oh, boy. All right. We have Opportunity Knocks. I hide my true lifestyle because I don't want my friends and family to judge me. So we got somebody that is... Um, yeah, unhealthy connection. I feel like this is somebody that you guys have let go of, okay? That you were in an unhealthy connection with. This person is going to take the opportunity to come back, all right? Whoever this person is, this person, they could live some type of taboo lifestyle, okay? For, it's going to be different for everybody. But this person, um, for some of you, this person could like the same sex. Um, for some of you, this person could just do a lot of things that maybe they feel like people are going to judge them for. So it's like basically like they live in a double life. Yeah, tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. So I feel like whoever this person is, they're going to come in and they're going to be telling you a lot of lies. Okay, I don't even know how to sugarcoat that. <laughs> okay. I'm afraid of losing what we have, but I'm more afraid of being vulnerable. So this person, it's like this person loves you. I feel like for some of you, you may know something about this person. Yeah, this person is an energy vampire. So I feel like it's, a, it's it's really about this person um, missing your energy, all right? But like I said, I feel like this person, this person does care about you. I feel like for a lot of you, you are very accepting of this person. For some of you, you may even know about this person's taboo lifestyle, okay? But you may have accepted them, all right? What else? But I feel like this person is coming back and to lie about something. We got dark sorcery here. So there could be somebody that's connected to this person that's doing some type of witchcraft. All right. Yeah. We got can't turn a hoe into a housewife. Male or female energy. I feel like this person is just for the streets. Once bitten, twice shy. Yeah, I feel like after whatever this person puts you through, I feel like it's like you, you now know that this person is like a lost cause. I want to get to know you better. So I feel like a lot of you are... What the heck? You are getting to know someone new or someone new is wanting to get to know you. Anything you can do, I can do better. Yeah, I feel like... <clears throat> Okay, I'm just picking up on some somebody that likes the same sex, okay? And I feel like whoever this person is, I'm picking up on a masculine energy, okay? I'm just going to be honest. Whoever this masculine is that I'm picking up on, I feel like they like to be in competition with their feminine counterpart. So if you are the female that's watching this, whoever this masculine is that's connected to you or whoever it is that you're thinking about right now, this person has the energy of somebody that's um, jealous. It's like this person, it's like they pretend to be supportive and they, they pretend to be happy for you in certain situations. But I feel like this person is really in um, a, comp a competitive energy. All right. I feel like for those of you that this person, <clears throat> liking people of the same sex resonates with, I feel like this person 
whether it's male or female, this person has the tendency. So if it's a masculine watching this, the female that you're thinking about, they act like a dude. Okay. And if it's a feminine watching this, the masculine that you're thinking about acts like a female, like on some real shit, you know, it could even be the situation where you are as a feminine, you're more in touch. You're like the, you were like the masculine in the situation as far as taking care of things. And as far as your energy is concerned, I feel like you may have had to be in your masculine energy a lot. Okay. <clears throat> I don't want to say this person act like a bitch ass nigga, but hey, that's what it's giving. Okay. We're just going to go with band man. So I don't be cursing on YouTube too much. <laughs> okay. We got bad reception. Yeah. So for some of you, you guys may have gotten some type of phone call from this person and there was like bad reception or something. Oh, this person is just blocked from contacting you. I'm bad at love. Yeah. I feel like um, whoever this person is, <clears throat> they, they didn't get a lot of love growing up. You can't compete where you don't compare. So, yeah, there's somebody, this could be this person or whoever this person is connected to that is um, jealous of you and they're comparing themselves with you. But it's like, I feel like this person may make this person feel some type of way when it comes to you. All right. Because I feel like, well, like I said, you accept this person. Okay. For who they are. Yeah. Shadow work. This person needs to do shadow work. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let me get all the cards out. So, the deck we have incarcerated so somebody could be in jail for some of you or somebody could just be feeling very caught up in whatever their situation is all right <clears throat> yeah there's somebody that's competing with you with this girl fight here and we have extra triggered and we have threatening and then we have bad karma. So there's definitely somebody, yeah, that's jealous. That's just, you can't compete where you don't compare. Somebody is competing with you. Somebody wants to fight you, okay? And uh, I feel like they want to fight you over this person. <laughs> okay? But yeah, somebody could definitely be immature. This person could definitely be immature with this at your age, not your shoe size. Okay, at the back of the deck. What is this girl fight? We got pathway. So somebody could want to fight you because they're going through a lot of changes. All right? There's a lot of transformation that's happening in this person's life the number eight could be significant all right but <clears throat> eight can also represent karma what goes around comes around okay so we also we already have the bad karma card here what's this extra triggered mature woman yeah so somebody's extra triggered when it comes to you, or this could be a mature woman. What's this threatening? This could be somebody that's older than you. Who 
whoever this person is, this person uses dark sorcery for material gain. Okay? Who's this threatening? Thief. Yeah, so there's a thief here that's threatened, intimidated, bothered, or they could be intimidating someone or threatening someone, okay? Who's this bad karma? Courtship. So somebody could have received bad karma as their bad, their bad karma was possibly a karmic courtship. We have a message of concern. <clears throat> What's this girl fight? We have melancholy. Yeah, somebody is sad. Somebody's upset because they can't compete with you. I feel like they, they're upset because you're on your pathway Okay, you're experiencing a lot of um, good karma, a lot of success, all right, all right, all right, a lot of um, unexpected income here. Love. So this could be this person could be extra triggered because somebody loves you. Basically, okay. What is this threatening? Whoever you are, you're um you're in your purpose, all right? I feel like you are in your purpose, like you're living your life's purpose. And I feel like this person is aware of that somehow. Could be possibly through this dark sorcery. What's this threatening? You have child. So for some of you, somebody could be threatening to do to harm your child. Okay. And for others, the others of you, this person is just very childish, whoever this person is, this thief, okay, what's this bad karma, well, somebody definitely needs to do some shadow work here, this could be your person and the person that's, that, that's connected to them, all right, but I just feel like you guys don't want anything to do with this situation, yeah, service, this person, I feel like for some of you, this person feels like this person is coming towards you to help you or something like that. And that's their karma. Okay. For others of you, this could be your person's karma is that you are getting in some type of courtship with somebody that will help you to heal. Quite possibly we have reunion. Yeah. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, this is not going to be for everybody, but for a lot of you, some of you may be um, reuniting with somebody from your past, okay? And you guys are, like, getting to know each other again. I feel like for some of you, it was not the right timing, okay? What's this girl fight? Okay, we got blind. So this person, I feel like whenever they started this war with you, it's like they did not know. They did not know who they were coming for. I feel like whoever you are, you're very protected. Okay, you walk in very protected energy. And I feel like this person didn't know that. They, It's like... They didn't really know who they were messing with. What's this extra trigger? So this person, whoever this person is that's connected to you, they don't want to lose the connection that you guys have. But at the same time, they don't want to give up who they are. Like, you know, they don't want to give up who they truly are. 
We have loneliness. Yeah, so this person, whoever this person is, they're extra triggered because somebody loves you and has left them lonely, okay? This person is disappointed. They're in isolation. They're by themselves. Nobody's probably really messing with this person. All right? I feel like this person is disappointed in the fact that nothing that they did with this dog sorcery has panned out. What's this threatening? I, I feel like, yeah, we got real estate. Yeah, I feel like this person, there's something in, in regards to their home, okay? I feel like this person is just, they only care about money, okay? This person could, for some of you, claim to be some type of investor, okay? And that's how they get people to give money to them, all right? But this person is only concerned with wealth and finances, all right? It could be something to do with a home here as well. What's this bad karma? We got trying. Yeah, I feel like... Okay, so this is giving that you guys are meeting someone new or have met someone new whoever this person this new person is it's going to be um a successful courtship or successful union with them this person i feel like you guys are going to help each other and that is someone's bad karma the fact that you are in a new courtship or getting in a new courtship or will be getting in a new courtship with someone who is going to be healing to you and this this relationship or this union Whatever it is for you is going to be successful. This is someone that, whoever this unhealthy connection was, this is their bad karma. We have accident at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. So, let's see. Let's get a couple life purpose oracle cards real quick. We have speaker <laughs> and we have oracle cards okay then we have study okay so we have speaker your life purpose involves your skills of oration so whoever you are you could do something where you speak for a living okay and then we have oracle cards you're able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others so some of you may be um may have invested in some type of oracle deck okay to do your own like daily pulls or whatever to, to see what's going on with you at the back we have study reading research and education <clears throat> help you gain confidence and clarity about your career so you could be studying something in regards to whatever it is that you're doing or whatever it is that you're trying to get into all right let's see what's this girl fight We got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Mm -hmm. Somebody is going through bad karma right now. All right? <clears throat> this person is experiencing delays and setbacks from all angles. Okay? And meanwhile, you're on your pathway. All right? You're on your pathway to success. Whoever this person is, they don't they don't have no kind of self control. Okay. What else could be girl fight? Yeah, we got the three of swords. So this person could be in some type of heartbreak. They all melancholy. We already know that. Okay. This could also mean that this was a third party situation, which I feel like it was, and. You experienced a lot of heartbreak in this situation as well, which is why I feel like, yeah, with this moon card, there was a lot of secrets, okay? There was a lot of secrets going on. This person may have deceived you. For those of you, you may know whoever this person is that's connected to your person, okay? But 
whoever this person is, they're competing with you because they're insecure. Basically, Pisces energy with this moon card could be cancer as well. <clears throat> um, Pisces and Sagittarius energy with the Wheel of Fortune. What else for this girl fight? Well, whoever this person is, this person is like, they're jealous of you. They're going through bad karma. It's like whatever they thought was going to happen did not happen. So they're heartbroken by their own hand, really, okay? They're sitting there wondering what the hell, why whatever didn't work the way they expected it to. Yeah. And we have the Hierophant, okay, crossing. So it's just like this person, I feel like... <clears throat> This person is, they could be waiting on some type of commitment. Also, I feel like this person is the type of person that comes across as religious, but they're really not. Okay? I feel like they try to come across as, they could be the type of person that, like, has scriptures hanging around their house. Okay? But at, at night, when the moon is up, this person be doing a lot. Okay? And that's why they're going through a lot of misfortune right now. What's this extra trigger? We got the seven of cups. So I feel like whoever this person is, this person, they live in like a fantasy world. Okay. This person has a very wild imagination. Yeah. And we have the devil card right here. So, uh huh. This person is very codependent and whoever it is that they were codependent on is like this person loves you and has left this person lonely. So this person is feeling very powerless right now, very hopeless, and they're obsessing over you. Okay. You probably don't even have nothing to do with this person. Yeah. They thinking that this person is coming towards you for marriage or something like that. Okay. They're thinking that you and this person are happy right now. But I feel like you guys may not even have anything to do with this person. But I don't feel like this person knows that because I feel like whoever it is you're connected to is like taking back their power with this Emperor card and not really. <sighs> giving this person what they want Capricorn energy here Taurus with this Hierophant and we have um, Aries with the Emperor okay so that could be somebody's sign or it could be somebody's sign okay <laughs> what is this threatening Somebody could be ghosting whoever this thief is, okay? I feel like this person is wanting some type of help when it comes to a house, okay? I feel like this person, and because they're not getting it, it's like they're using threats to try to get what they want, all right? But I feel like whoever this person is, whoever this person is threatening is doing a lot of soul searching right now. It's like they're doing a lot of reflection they're trying to remain strong in the situation We've got verbal energy here with the hermit leo energy here with this strength all right <clears throat> i feel like whoever this person is that they're threatening this, this could be your person your past person or whoever okay yeah i feel like this person is they may have been like very passive at one point in time with this person but i feel like now like i said with this emperor they're taking their power back for some of you this could have been a marriage this person could be married to this person okay but yeah somebody's wanting to take 
find the courage to come in with this chariot card, okay, and control a situation, okay, because the eight, I mean, the, um, the strength card is a card of control as well as the chariot, okay, but we got nine, eight, seven here, somebody's moving backwards, okay, so I don't know, somebody could have been born September of 87, okay, what is this um, threatening? We got a lot of major arcana cards here, so I feel like spirit is all over this. Like I said, I feel like spirit is protecting you from this person. Yeah, bad reception. Thank you. It's like whenever this person tries to reach out, they get bad reception or something like that. What else for this threatening? Ooh. We got the page of wands. Yeah. I feel like this person is wanting to come in enthusiastically towards you. All right. With this strength. After this person, I feel like this person has done some type of soul searching in regards to whoever this person is that's threatening them. Whoever this person is that's childish. Whoever this person is that had them paying, they could have been paying their rent, okay, or something like that. But now I feel like this person, because the Page of Wands is about courage as well, just like the Strength card. So I feel like this person is like, it's like they're trying to be positive. They're trying to think positive when it comes to coming towards you, okay? <sighs> What's this bad karma? You could be getting a message from this person, okay? For some of you, this person could be telling you that they're locked up because of some type of accident, okay? But they're wanting to have some type of reunion with you. I feel like this person is going to try to play on your emotions. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get the last two. Okay, so I feel like I said... Some of you guys might still want to be with this person, okay? Let's just be honest, all right? But for others of you, I feel like you're going to have a choice between this person and someone new, okay? I feel like, yeah. So we got the two of wands. Then we got the lovers, Gemini energy. Then we have the star card, Aquarius energy. Then we have the Nine of Swords, okay? That's um, Gemini energy. So I feel like you guys could be planning or making plans, all right, with someone else, all right? I feel like you guys are, like, distancing yourself, detaching yourself energetically from whoever this person is, all right? And there's somebody that's coming in, and this person is going to be like a soulmate. This is going to be like a perfect union. This is going to be like two peas in a pod. Okay. Like you guys are just going to be compatible in so many ways. All right. And I feel like this person is going to help you heal. Like I said, I feel like you are, you are both going to help each other heal. Okay. And this is going to be hell for somebody else. Okay? Whoever this person is that you were connected to in the past, they are not going to like that. This is not going to make them happy. All right? And I feel like this person might just reach a breaking point, but that's judgment. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's their karma. 
that's their karma. All right, what um what's the outcome for this? <clears throat> what's that? Got the Queen of Swords. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like now you're in the energy of like just you just making the right calls. You're not playing with nobody anymore. Okay. I feel like just because of whatever you've been through, could be with this person and, and past people as well. I feel like you you're at the point now where you looking at things for what it is, all right. Yeah, we got the four cups here. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be a missed opportunity with this past person. And I feel like a lot of you, um, you may have wanted it to work out with this person, you know? But it's like you're using your head over your heart now, all right? Where I feel like in the past you may have used your heart over your head because of how you felt about this person. But I feel like at this point, with everything that this person has shown you, as far as their character, I feel like you're just over it at this point. Okay. Libra energy, Aquarius, Gemini energy. <clears throat> What's the um, okay. We got the two of pentacles and the knight of cups. <sighs> we got the towel at the bottom. So I feel like I said, you know what the truth is when it comes to this person. I feel like you're not using your emotions. You're not letting your emotions run the show anymore. Okay. I feel like you're going to put this person in their place when it comes to whatever it is that they want. And this person is going to be in a lot of regret. And I feel like a lot of you are going to be in regret too because, you know, I feel like you wanted this to work. But it is what it is at this point. And I feel like that's the energy you guys are in. And I feel like there's somebody coming in for you and this person is going to like be the complete opposite of this person that you, you walked away from or walked away from.